What's going on everybody? It's Mr. Do It All. And in today's video, we're going to be... And in this video, not today's video, because we got multiple videos dropping today. But in this video, we're going to be talking about the Seattle Seahawks. As we finally finish up in the NFC West, a team that I think will win its division. Last year, they finished 10-5-1. They do need to upgrade their offensive line. But this is still a top-tier team because of that great defense led by the Legion of Boom. Obviously, health is a key factor, as we saw last year. Losing Earl Thomas was a huge, huge factor. Cam Chancellor missed time as well last year. So, let's go ahead and jump into the Seahawks and see what their season might look like and some of their key pickups as well as key losses. So, some of their key pickups include Eddie Lacy, formerly of the Green Bay Packers, Luke Jokel, left tackle that was drafted number two overall by the Jacksonville Jaguars, It'll be interesting to see where they play him. Um, in this and in this website, it has him listed as a guard. It'll be interesting to see over there. Um, in terms of the offensive line in general, they really need a lot of help. Um, they spent a second-round pick on a guard center, Ethan Pokic. Posick? I'm not sure. Um, but I mean, their best their best offensive lineman is Justin Britt, who has been playing center for them. So it'll be interesting to see where this guy fits in for them. Um, they did lose their starting left tackle to a um, torn ACL. So something that Tom Cable has done over the last couple of seasons is mix match his offensive line. It doesn't matter if you've played that position before, he will play you there. Um, it's something I'm not a very big fan of because you don't get the continuity and the um, consistency that you want from your players. Um, they really need to upgrade that. I feel like I understand that Pete Carroll likes athletes um, as he recruited great athletes at USC and he's drafted a lot of great athletes Bruce Irvin to name that was I believe his first draft Bruce Irvin um, Cam Chancellor Earl Thomas even Richard Sherman guys like that Russell Wilson he's drafted some really great athletes but I feel like they need to find a way to draft offensive linemen to better support Russell Wilson and instead of him constantly rolling out which is something that he does really well and getting outside the pocket and throwing on the run. Let him sit in the pocket for five, six seconds and see what happens. He has Doug Baldwin, who is an underrated receiver in my eyes. Um, doesn't get the respect that he deserves. Um, and you have uh, um, a little bit of an issue on running back with them. You don't know who's going to start. I think that they should start CJ Procise. Um, great uh, pass catching and runner out of the backfield. Um, they have Thomas Rawls. I believe that they have... Um, they have Eddie Lacy too, so they have a multitude, multiple options that they can go with into the season running the ball. They can run some power, they can run some finesse on you. Um, I do feel like that they need to incorporate the run game more to take pressure off of Russell Wilson as losing Marshawn Lynch last season proved that Russell had to carry more of an offensive load. Um, so that does kind of suck for them. Um... But like I said, their offensive line is their biggest weakness on this team. Outside of that, I mean, they also have Jimmy Graham, who's coming back after last year, who came back from, I believe it was a torn ACL. So he's coming back. He's got a whole year under his belt with Russell Wilson. There you have um, chemistry going. Doug Baldwin has always had uh, chemistry going with Russell Wilson. So, I mean, there's just a bunch of small issues that they can fix obviously um some of us have read in the past off season that there were issues between russell wilson and richard sherman that russell wilson not that russell wilson that richard sherman views russell wilson as a pretty boy and that he gets protected because you know like because that he's the quarterback and he's pete's little baby i guess that's a team issue but both of those guys blew it off that it was nothing now jumping to their defense um Obviously, this is a top five defense in the NFL. I mean, this team, obviously losing Earl Thomas last year for a couple games sucked. Um, they went from surrendering 16.2 points per game to 23.2, a whole touchdown more. And for a team that doesn't protect its quarterback well, that's a big, uh, that's a huge, huge amount of um, points to give up. 23 is a lot, especially for a team that prides itself on its defense. Um, they still can get after the passer with Michael Bennett. Um, I think they saw Cliff Averill. Um, they have the guys in the secondary, Richard Sherman. Um, they haven't really found a number two corner to replace since Brandon Browner's been gone. But 
I mean, scheme-wise, they'll be okay because they have probably the best center field safety in the league with Earl Thomas and the best in the box safety in Cam Chancellor. Um, they still have a great middle linebacker in Bobby Wag Wagner, and they have a they still have KJ Wright. So they still have they get to play a lot of nickel with this team. So I mean, there's no no issue. Um, now let's jump into this team's schedule. Let's see how they'll do, what what we can proje project them to do. Obviously, like I said, they need to build up their offensive line to protect um, Russell Wilson. And it doesn't look like they play too many devastating pass rushers. I guess maybe the Rams, um, the Giants, Houston can get after the quarterback. Arizona could find a way to get after you. Atlanta was able to get after quarterbacks last year. So... Let's go ahead and jump into their schedule. Right now in the preseason, they're 3-0. This is as of Monday. Um, they play Thursday against Oakland, so that'll be an interesting game. And it's the fourth preseason game, but nobody's going to play. I guess it's not going to be that interesting for players that are on the bubble on the roster. So let's go ahead and jump into their schedule. Um, they start the season off against Green Bay. I'm going to give that one a toss-up. Um, both these teams know how to play each other really tough. Um, over the last couple of years, both these, these games have come down to the last minute. First San Francisco, that's a win. At Tennessee, that's a win. Uh, Tennessee's not ready for that to play primetime teams, um, but they're. I think Tennessee could win their division. Just that's just how I feel. I feel like Tennessee is the most complete team out of the AFC South, but the AFC South in general is bad. Um, then they play Indianapolis. That's a W at the Rams. Um, I think they'll split. I think they'll split against the Rams because that's what they do. Um, so we'll leave that one as a toss-up. Bye week. Then they play at New York. A tough game, so I'm gonna that one to toss up versus Houston. Um, it depends who will play quarterback for Houston. I don't think Houston will win, it could be a close game though, because Houston's defense knows how to keep its offense on the game, vice versa with Seattle. Um, toss up versus Washington that should be a W at Arizona. I think they'll split against Arizona, so we'll see. Um, versus Atlanta, toss up. Atlanta's offense is dangerous. Seattle's defense is opportunistic, gets after the quarterback, and also dangerous. So you have those two factors going after. I don't feel like Atlanta's defense is up there yet, but maybe they could be based upon the fact that they play really fast. At San Francisco is a win, versus Philadelphia is a win. At Jacksonville is a win, versus the Rams, like I said, toss uh, splits. At Dallas, that's a toss up, versus Arizona, that's a toss up. So I see this team probably going. Their best overall record would probably be 11 and 5. Their worst record would be 9 and 7. Playoff team winning their division. Um, that'll wrap it up. NFC is done. So I know we have about um, a week and a half left till the NFL season starts. So I'm going to be coming at you guys really fast with all these AFC teams. I'm going to try to do three videos a day this week. So I'd finish up by Saturday. Um, Saturday with the AFC West. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I am out of here. Thanks for watching, guys.